the components required for this experiment are node mcu board node mcu breakout board lcd display i2c converter breadboard dst11 sensor bmb280 sensor ldr sensor rain sensor connecting wires and connecting cable Now go to the Arduino IoT Cloud website, click on the sign in button and here enter the username and password and click on the sign in button. Now from the left side menu, go to things and here click on this plus thing button. Here we need to create a new thing. So first let's rename this thing name. Here we can give the thing name as weather monitoring system. and click on the rename button now we need to add five variables so for that click on this add button and create the first variable name as temperature and select the variable type as temperature here we need no need to do any changes and click on the add variable button now create the second variable which is humidity And here select the variable type as relative humidity. And here also then click the add variable button. Now the third one is pressure. And select the variable type as pressure. And then click on the add variable button. Now the fourth one is rain. Here we need to select the variable type as integer. Click on the add variable button and then the final variable which is light. So this light is a boolean variable. Select boolean and click on the add variable button. Now we created the variables. Now we need to select the device. So for that click the select device button. And then select set up new device. And here select third party device. So here we are using ESP8266 board. So this board is selected and select the model as Node MCU 1.0. And then click on the continue button. And here we can give the device name. And now click next. So here copy the secret key and select this checkbox and click continue and then click done now we need to configure the network so for that click the configure button under this network 
here you want to enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. And then paste the secret key which we copied. And then click on the save button. Now the network configuration is done. Now go to this icon and here select dashboards. Now here we need to create a new dashboard. For that click this button. Here we can rename this dashboard. Click on, click on this rename button. Here we can give the name as weather monitoring system. And then click on the rename button. Here we need to add 4 gauge widgets, 1 LED and 4 charts. Click on this add button. So add a gauge. So for the first gauge is for temperature. And here we need to link the variable. So if you select this thing, it will show the variables which we created. So select the temperature variable and then click on the link variable button. And maximum value is 100, no need to change that. And then click on the done button. Now add the second gauge. This is for humidity. We can give the gauge name as humidity. And link the variable. Select this thing and link the humidity variable. Click on the link variable button. Here also the maximum value is 100. Now the third one which is for pressure. Add a new gauge. Rename the gauge name as pressure. Then click the link variable. Link, the link with the pressure variable. Then click on the link variable button. And here give the maximum value as 1 lakh. Then click on the done button. Now add the fourth gauge which is for rain. Here give the name variable uh, gauge name as rain. And link with the rain variable. Click on the link variable button. Here give the maximum value is 500. Then click on the done button. Now the fifth one which is an LED. Click on the add button. So here we, we, uh, we have an LED widget. So select that. We can change the color and click on the done button. Now we need to add four charts. The first chart is for temperature. Here also we need to link the variable like we did for the gauges. The second chart is for the humidity. Link the variable and click on the done button. Now the third one is for pressure. Link with the link this with the pressure variable. Click on the done button. Now the fourth one which is for uh, rain. Now we can rearrange these widgets. Now we again click on this menu, go to things. Now select our thing which we created, weather monitoring system. Now go to sketch and click Open full editor. Now the basic template is created and now we need to add our logic. So I have already written the code. I am just copy pasting the code. Let me explain the code. So these are the libraries which we are using. So we need to connect the DHT11 sensor to the 
pin D3 in the node MC board. So we need to initialize the BMB 280 sensor for the pressure and connect the light sensor to the pin number D0 in the node MCU board. So this 16 is the GPIO pin and connect the rain sensor to the pin AO. And this is the logic. So here we are reading the humidity and the temperature and store this in the variable. And then we are assigning to the variable which, which we created in the things menu. Then same like we need to read the pressure and assign to the pressure variable. So here we are uh, uh, checking the light value. So here we are using a boolean, boolean variable and we are just to turn on and off the light. Now we can upload the program to the node MCU board. So go back to your sketch. Here click on the arrow button and upload the program. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the node MCU board. We can also check the output in the mobile. For that we need to download the IoT remote application from the play store. Now once you open the application we can see the dashboard which we created from the Arduino IoT cloud website. Now click on the dashboard and here we can see the gauges and the charts which we created. So from this we can check the output.